and the baby's crib. Ah, uh, we oui, oui. Welcome, sir, mon ami, to Month of Discovery. It is time for Ratatouille. Yes, that Pixar movie about rats. Rats, what? Rats. We are the rats. I was trapped in a rubber room once. And enough rat-related jokes. It's time for Ratatouille. This game released on quite a lot of systems. Like GameCube, I think PS2, Xbox, Xbox 360, PSP, DS. It got around, and of course a PC release. Because, you know, why wouldn't there be a PC release? Anyway, we go with VGJ. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Somewhere in France. I see London, I see France. <laughs> nice FMV. Yep, you're clean, pal. Move it along. Ugh. Hey, little brother. Are you finished yet? about, Dad? Can't a rat work in peace around here? Now listen, the old lady's nap time is almost over. Get cracking and collect those apple cores before she wakes up. Up to it, Sonny! There's more stuff to be collected, boys, so get moving. And for crying out loud, Emil, stop eating all our supplies. Uh, what supplies? Remy, keep an eye on your brother. Make sure he leaves some for the rest of us. Yeah. Why are you walking like that? Because I eat with these paws. Well, right, go ahead, but Dad won't like it. Last thing he wants is for you to act human. Yeah, I know. Remy, come on. Dad wants us to get some apple cores. Maybe I'll even show you some sweet moves along the way. Oh, really? You're gonna show me sweet moves, huh? Look! Food! Follow hmm. me to pick them up! At least they did put in the effort yeah, to have... I we were working together on this. ...fur effects. We are! I'll get the food on the flower pots while you snag these. Sure you will. Move the control stick in any direction to move Remy. Thanks for the tip. Hmm, a lot of apple cores here. Not bad graphics, either. Oh, he can go on all fours. Nice. I mean, this is the GameCube, so... Very blurry textures are the expectation. You know, not bad. I do like the GameCube era. It's the era where graphics started looking believable. In a blurry and unrefined way, but it, they, they start to look believable. Like, I mean, you can believe that this is a rat. Well, at least the Pixar style of rat. It looks very recognizable, hey, Rick, if you know what I mean. Watch me use my amazing muscles to get up on the flower pots. Sure. This ought to be good. Okay, why don't you try it? Not bad. Oh, but, but how? I know. Pretty amazing, huh? Sometimes I'm not quite sure myself, but hey, just pick up the food and meet me over at the fishing net. N64 games weren't quite there. Like, N64 PS1, they weren't quite there. Work. Ah, far more, far easier than him. Move the camera with the C-stick, center the camera with Y. Okay, okay. Play. Also, it occurred to me that X and Y are the axis. You know, like, Y tends to be up and down, and X tends to be left and right. Double jump by pressing A twice, yes. And X tends to be... X just so happens to be on the left side of the controller, while Y happens to be on the top of the controller. It conforms to the axes. It took me this long to realize that. Well, I mean, I knew that a little while ago. Climbing here. Watch and learn, little brother. 
Oops. Watch and learn, huh? Huh. I can't be amazing all the time. I'll go around. You notice there's also enough polygons for their eyelids so they can emote. It's nice. Press A to jump towards the net. Then press B to hang out of the wall and climb. Areas where you can perform interactions are highlighted with B. Thanks for the tip. Nice. Oh yeah. Very nice. Remy Chan. Look at them graphics. I got an idea. We can use those cans to get on the roof. They look light enough to pick up. I mean, right now this game looks very linear, but. Wait a minute. I'm usually the one with the great ideas. Not too bad. You mean all the great ideas that get me in trouble? Wow. Anyways, I'll, I'll wait for you near the window. You sure are snippy for a rat that seems to have trouble moving. Very well, then. My amazing mushrooms! Yeah, check that out, you can actually see everything. Although, obviously, out in the distance, the textures get even more muddy. But, it's not too bad. Great. I mean, keeping in mind, this the original game would be like 480i at most. So, yeah, it's not too bad. It's got some detail there, I like that. I can appreciate the graphics. As aged as they may be. Mission complete. Go to shop, uh, okay. Hey Remy, check out my acrobatic skills. In the PS3 era especially looked good. What are you doing? You're gonna hurt yourself. Don't worry, I'm an expert. Try that little brother. I'll be waiting over on the chest. Okay, then. He's just gonna crawl up it, isn't he? Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, you gotta actually... You actually have to press something. Easy peasy. Look, some more apple cores. Use that super sniffer of yours to find them all. I'll meet you when you're done. Wait, why do I have to do all the... work? Because he doesn't want to. Hold L to enter scent vision mode. Thank you. Nice. That's pretty cool. That's handy. Super handy. What do we have here? I'm sure there are at least a few different ways of getting up there. This might be the easiest. There we go. Now that's the good stuff right there. Huh, look at that. It actually has a baked in reflection on the mirror. That's nice. I mean, it probably looks better than just not having anything there. It just make it look like non-reflective glass. It at least has some kind of effort. A for effort. Well, okay, not entirely. They probably could have had it move around somewhat like a cube map, but... You know... Can't expect the world now, can we? All four, baby. Oh, look, a ball! Watch this. We can use it to go over there! <laughs> it's the Pixar ball! Ouch! You okay, Emil? Let me show you how it's done. 
Oh, don't forget to pick up the food. Then meet me at the window. Okay, then. Up the ball by pressing A. Move the control stick to move the ball in any direction. Press R. Dash while on the ball. Press A to leave the ball. Cool. Thanks for the tip. Be careful. Oh, yeah. Are those ants? Okay, those are ants. Cool. I guess this is so you don't get stung. And for a rat, it would probably be much more severe than a human. And considering they look like fire ants, it wouldn't be very pleasant for humans either. Let alone a rat. See, they're much smaller than humans. Great! Did I miss one? Ah. Oh, nope. It was just outside. <laughs> My bad. My bench. Hey, pal. Okay. Now we're going to use this rope to get to the roof over there. What? Are you crazy? We're rats, not birds. Eh, uh, never mind. Just watch how it's done. Barely. Back to work. Ah. Yeah, that didn't work out so well, now did it? Okay, here we go. Okay, you gotta sort of keep yourself steady, don't you? Oh, that's nice, look at that. It's an attempt to do a waterfall. Uh-oh. Darn it. At least I've mastered this ability. Apparently there's a storm of brewing. That's definitely not foreshadowing anything, is it? That is pretty decent looking water, though. I mean, there aren't really any water effects at all, not really any shader effects, it's mostly just a moving texture. I mean, you know, not too bad, not too bad. It could be worse. Notice how I use my considerable girth to balance. I call this one the Great Balancing Rat Run. This, I gotta see. Just watch and learn. Meet me down there on the wall and don't forget the apple cores. Whatever you say, pal. You're on the path. Okay, okay. There we go. Nice. Oh, yeah. Easy peasy. Until it's not. <laughs> and it punishes you hard. Wow. You know, I can't help but notice that there's a decent amount of detail. Like, pretty much all the main aspects of this house are here. That's pretty nice. Like I said, this era is when games when graphics started becoming more believable. Go to Gustav's shop and buy game modes and much more. Okay, fair enough. Not bad, little brother. You got some skills. Now we're gonna land on those sparkly posts. Watch this. You should be careful. You might break something. Can you please just watch, then meet me over there by the pile of wood? Yeah, can't you tell the master is trying to do his... good work? Thank you. Oh, okay then. Okay, here we go. It is very generous about when you can press it, but you have to be above it, of course. Oh, okay. Wow, when you're above it, it is really generous. I just assumed you had to be, like, on top of it. That was an unfortunate number. Okay, you can use boxes like this to hide. Just, just pick it up and climb underneath, and you can move around unnoticed. 
So if I'm in the box, no one can see me? Exactly. They can see a moving box. When an enemy has spotted you, a gauge appears on the lower right side of the screen. Its color will go from green to red as long as you keep moving. If there's red completely, the box will be of no use and will disappear, leaving you at the mercy of your foes. When detected by an enemy, stand still until the gauge turns to completely green, then move again. Thanks for the tip. That's lovely. Oh, crap. Wow. I love that it's a foghorn, too. That's great. That is so cartoony that I can't help but love it. Thank you kindly. Pick up the cheese to replenish your life gauge. One piece of cheese will give you one life bar. That's good. Let me show you how to defend yourself. We'll use that as a weapon. Okay then. Oh wow. Really starting to freak me out. Where did you learn how to do all this? Seriously, I really don't know. Why convenience? Are you? I am the tutorial character. Somebody. Yep, it's starting to rain. Back to work. Let's just let's just uh Thank smack you. the little baby chickens around. Cause you know that's a that's a fine how do you do? We'll just kill them all. If I can't handle that chicken out there as revenge, I will kill all of its babies. That's right, I literally just said that. What are you gonna do about it? Huh? What are you gonna do about it? Ain't gonna do nothing, that's what you're gonna do. Ain't gonna do nothing. Last thing, we're almost done here. This one is about rafting, and believe me, little brother, I'm an expert in that. So just watch and learn. And don't forget to pick up the food. I know, you've told me that like a hundred times. Yeah, yeah, just follow me. Indeed. Okay, okay. Right, okay, B paddles faster. Nice. Very nice. Great. Nice being able to actually enter in this water area that I was commenting on earlier. You can jump off the raft and avoid obstacles by pressing A. Indeed. That's cool. This isn't half bad. You know, for a licensed game anyway. Even if it is linear as hell. Thanks to the level of completion, you have increased your health. Well done. You've completed somewhere in France. <clears throat> what do we have here? Uh, why'd you want to come up here again? Well, I need your help. With what? This. It's a cookbook by Auguste Gusteau, my favorite chef, with all sorts of mouth-watering delicacies. Wow. Wow, Remy. I didn't know you could read. Just come on. I'll, we'll get it now, and I'll tell you more later. <laughs> Daddy? Wow, really? 
That granny's angry. I mean, at least you don't have to carry it. Look at the bright side. Then I can see how there might be a negative to everything. Destiny River. Rolling down the river. Ah, that helps. I guess. Probably try to avoid the obstacles, huh? Maybe I should try to get over to them. I learned! The tutorial taught me something! Hooray! Oh jeez, come on. I better catch up to them and fast. Oh, that was not a good idea. Okay, come on. I love how it's already at the bottom waiting for me. Kind of funny how that works, isn't it? There's always merciful sections. Like the barrel somehow flows more slowly when I'm messing up. Uh-oh. Come on, come on, pal. Come on, come on, hurry up. Oh, I don't think it is slowing down. It isn't slowing down. I mean, the book is, but... I mean, it makes sense that the book would kind of slow down because I'm no longer rowing on it, but... Uh, I don't think the barrel actually is after all. I think I could actually lose if I let it get away from me. Potentially. Then again, it does seem to adjust its speed by quite a bit. See, I told you it raining would be a factor, didn't I? Crap. Crap. Come on. Yeah, gimmick. I'm getting closer. Not close enough. Not close enough by a long shot. It's always just out of reach, conveniently. Isn't it? It went that way. Bro, where are you going? Bruh, it went the other way. Home stink home. Well done. You can tell this is an FMV. Not only is the quality lower, but there's actual water effects too. Like refraction. Wow. Books even reflected. It's like the GameCube version, but just better? Maybe it's the Xbox 360 what? version. What's going on? Excuse me, I am Chef Auguste Gusto. I, I I know who you are. Silence! And look there. So, mon ami, do you recognize these plans? I'm not certain, but... Go on. Paris. Yes? Did you lead me here? Why? Aren't you just a figment of my imagination? We, oui, I am a figment of your imagination. But inspiration comes to us all, especially chefs. The critics have dropped my restaurant from five stars to four. I believe you, mon petit ami, can help me get that star back. Rebuild Gusto's? I think I can handle that. A small rat is going to save a restaurant. 
from having the dreaded four stars. Right, find your way through a level. I'm guessing I'm not going to be able to grab the book and take it with me, am I? Yeah, see, now all of a sudden there's no refractions, no reflections. No anything, really. It's just opaque water. Pick up all the light bulbs to complete the colony mission. Completing the colony mission will give you a nice upgrade for the rat's colony in the sewer. And 10,000 ghost Gustao points to use in the Gustao's shop. Back to work. That's nice, I suppose. Yes, indeed. It is linear, but it does have some room for variation. Pick up all the stars to get 100% completion. Fair enough. Hey, okay. What about over here? Yep, just as I expected. And I'll probably need a can or something to get up there. Well, this is interesting, too. A rat in a sewer. Have you seen anything more fitting? Huh. Ratapult, huh? What? Neat. That's nice. Break the bag with B to see what's inside of it. Okay, then. Cool. That's lovely. Huh. Dead end. Uh, I was about to say, unless I can open that door, but uh, apparently I can't. Oh, it is this way. My bad, I didn't notice the hole there. That giant hole. To be fair, it's clearly using a pre-rendered texture. Very flat. Oh, well, that's cool. Look at that. Gives you the impression that there are cars out there. Kinda. That's nice. That's nice. I like that. Little details like that. It's lovely, isn't it? What? Someone must be doing construction work up there. Ow. I should probably pay more attention to my life. I'm gonna die. Wow, really? I forgot the generosity when you're above it. That was my bad. Sorry about that. Ow. Ah, jeez. Dead gummit. I got cold feet because I didn't want hot feet. Do what I did there. Well, that was nice. Hmm, full health. I love it. Yes, I'm actually having difficulty with this of all games. Or at least I was. What the? Someone's bathroom? What the? That's interesting. Too bright to see anything, though. I think I've got this height thing under control, no problem. Ah, uh, living room. And the baby's crib. That's lovely. Oh, time to move. I love how it uses, it makes use of sound effects so that you know what it is without really knowing, without getting a good look at it. Oh, look at that. Maybe an FMV, but it still looks nice. Oh 
Oh boy. Some of the FMVs it can be a bit buggy. Like this one. Unfortunately. I'm gonna have to say that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like ratatouille. <laughs> and I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe and hit the bell icon to keep notified of new videos and maybe even check out these videos right here. If you wanted to like and leave a comment, that'd be great too.